Dude, that thing is sick. I like it a lot. No bullshit, that track's like my 2011. Okay, it's smooth. Exactly what Jerry was saying, flat, flat. flat. I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are taking a look at the new slide from Arc Division, the Arc Reactor. As always, I like to give you guys full disclosure on how I go about getting these products in for review. A few months back, the guys over at Arc Division released their initial design of the Arc Reactor slide. With it having an integrated compensator built in, you all know I just had to get one. I reached out to the guys and we worked out a product trade deal for the slide with some holsters and content. A couple of months later, I got my slide when the first production batch went live and here we are. Okay, so before we move on to the range footage, let's go over the specs of the reactor slide. The Arc Reactor is a complete slide assembly with an integral compensated barrel made from 416 stainless steel. The barrel also has a one in 10 twist and an 11 degree crown. The slide itself is heat treated steel that is also DLC coated. The reactor will come with a Glock enhanced internal parts kit, a steel RMR cover plate, and Trigicon suppressor height tritium night sights. It is also compatible with Gen 3 and Gen 4 Glock 19 platforms. Now, I myself have always wanted a gun that has that titanium nitrate two-tone gold look, so I opted for the tin-coated barrel and back plate. All right, now that the specs are out of the way, let's get on to the range portion. The first thing I wanted to get on video before we zeroed or started our range session was everyone's initial reaction to shooting the gun for the first time. I prefer the Zev OZ9 platform over the Glock platform, so I put the slide on my OZ9X grip and had everyone take turns shooting it. Here's that footage. All right guys, this will be the first rounds that I have shot out of the ARC reactor slide from ARC. Uh, this is on my OZ9X frame, uh, the next 300 Trichicon SRO. And yeah, let's see how this goes. I've been waiting to do this for a while. Here we go. We'll put it on the number five here. Get this dot on here, here we go. Yeah, man. Dude, it, it, it's like nothing. All right, let's get the other guys trying. Go for it, Paul. That's awesome. Crazy, right? That is, oh man, that is too much fun. All right, Matt, try it out. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> that's nice. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, so this one's fun. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh I overcompensate on it because it, it doesn't move as much as I, I think it's going to, which is why I literally missed my first shot because I just drooped it super hard. But uh, it's different. It's really it's really different, dude. Can you see the dot tracking the whole time? Yeah. It's weird, huh? Yeah. Like <laughs> maybe it's the SRO too, but it's like it doesn't really leave the top of the glass. That's cool, man. That's uh, it's really cool. As you can see, everyone was pleasantly surprised with how flat this setup shoots. I ended up bringing this gun to the average Joe's range day, and I think Jimmy and Jerry said it best when they talk about how flat the setup really is.
Dude, that thing is sick. Like, the dot, like I can see the dot, it never leaves the, the steel, right. right? It goes it goes from center up to like the neck back down. It never leaves out of the window, right? So like on my other, on other dots, other guns, you see it come off target, comes back, but it always returns. This one just, you see it the whole time. Super, super flat. Dude, that is sick. What do you think about it? Okay, it's smooth. <laughs> and uh, the reciprocation of the, it's just flat, dude. It's, right? it's really flat. Thanks. Like, I'm, uh, I, th I think I might have to pick one. <laughs> now, I want to keep this review short and sweet as the slide really speaks for itself when you see how it shoots. Um, I did grab different grains of 9mm ammunition and filmed at 100 frames per second so everyone could see the difference in, in recoil with each bullet weight. All right, as you guys just saw, we loaded this mag up with 12 rounds total. Uh, the first four rounds will be 115, the second set of four will be 124, and then the last four rounds are gonna be 147 Winchester Ranger duty ammo hollow points. So, Paul, load it up, let's do this. Matt, go ahead and get a nice tight shot here. We'll bring it in with some slow-mo as well. All right, first four rounds, 115, ball ammo, go for it, Paul. The second set of four are going to be 124s. Go for it. And the last set is the duty ammo that I carry, Winchester Ranger 147. Go for it. Now, some things I want to make sure I cover for you all. Um, the slide itself comes complete, ready to attach to your Gen 3 or Gen 4 Glock platform, or in our case, the Zev OZ9 platform. Now, I've seen other like good to go slides or products out there that are said that they're just really good to go out of the box and you don't have to modify it, but I've always had to do some type of modification. That is not the case in regards to the Arc Reactor. This thing just went on nice and smoothly with my Zev frame. No issues whatsoever. I also want to mention the knurling. It's both purposeful and aesthetically pleasing. With such large sections of knurling, it is easy to grab the slide anywhere and get a firm grip from manipulations. I thought the machining was really well thought out and done. Uh, we did notice a few malfunctions out on the range with some remanufactured ammo, as well as some 115 grain ammo ink, 9 millimeter, um, that kept giving us trouble. I had a couple of light primer strikes and some failures to extract. However, when I switched out to 115 grain PMC 9 millimeter, the gun ran flawlessly. So I don't think that has to do with the slide as much as it does getting any affordable ammunition I can right now for these videos. We ran just over 1,200 rounds through this gun so far. Uh, this includes our initial range day, the average Joe range day, and then our buddy Fam also ran the gun in the Greenline Tactical Night Fighter course this past weekend as well. Uh, with how well this setup performed, this will definitely be something that I will carry as an EDC gun. Um, I get 19 rounds in this setup, a large field of view optic with the Trigicon SRO, an integral compensator which keeps the overall footprint of the gun more minimal, and a functional yet also badass looking setup. So now this obviously comes with the price tag guys, and I know some of you out there there are wondering how much does this cost? Well, the slide alone is $1,200. Now, is it worth it? Um, that's a question you'd have to answer for yourself. However, as you can see from everyone's reaction in this video, we all say it's worth it. Uh, especially since you are getting everything needed to attach the slide and go. Internals, sights, barrel, integrated compensator, and knurling, it's all just there. Um, just throw on your optic and boom, you're good to go. Dude, that's it. What's, uh, what's the price on it? $1,200. Okay. Well, you know. As opposed to, I mean, because you're getting barrel and slides, a complete slide, all internals. Yeah, so I mean, it's not that bad, considering like if you had to buy your own barrel, your own slide, your own comp, put them, and then have the, the work get done. Like, so it's not, it's, that's comparable, I would say. But, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sick. Appreciate it, brother. That's nuts. Doing your drill? I dig it, man. Like, surprised I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> Index, uh, sold. That's sick as hell, bro. Thanks, man. 
Well guys, that's going to wrap up our quick review on the new Arc Division Reactor slide. I appreciate you all checking out the video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up down below as that does help out the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, check out that Patreon link down below. Patreon members get first access to new content, new gear, discounts, and giveaways. They are a big reason why we can continue to create content for you all. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. The Arc Reactor. As always... Yeah. yeah. Who is it? Scam likely. So I opted out for the tin. I opted out. I opted for. Rice rockets just gotta be rolling through Summerlin. Come on! Fast and the Furious over here.